Hello, my name is Andrei Ignat, I am a C-Sharp MVP and in this video I'll show you one of my favorite tools. Today I want to speak shortly about covariance and contravariance. What is that? Uh, we have two classes, one that is deriving for, uh, from another and we want to pass one class in some action on another classes as on behalf of the first. So let's take an example as it easier to explain. So we have a person that has a name, person name, and has a name as a string. And an employee that has is derived from person and has employee ID. It has also a name that I put employee name to clearly differentiate. So what is in my program? We have an enumerable of employee that it's a new employee. And because we have an I enumerable of employee, we could have an I enumerable of person because employee derives from person. So every employee is a person. So I could <coughs> say I enumerable of person P equal E as I could say person P equal new employee. And then I put right line and all it's clear and okay. The same for contravariance. We have an action of person of person that takes a person and writes a name. And because an employee is a person, we could have an action of employee that points to this action of person. The vice versa it could not be so. If we have an action of employee, we could not pass a person because it may use some of the employee features. Okay, so all of this works. And we have employee name, employee name twice because the first was a new employee. And here it was writing the person.name that it's actually an employee because we have an action of employee. What it comes to practice when we wrote the code, it's a different story. So let's say I have an interface. I say covariance. I say covariance of employee a person. And I want to say hello, like here. I want to make something with I say covariance of employee. So I have an I say covariance of T where T is a person and I say hello and the class my hello covariance that's derived from the interface and I put here the person and I put say hello hello person. So we comment this line that it's made of or not. Let's see this way. So we have the same as I have, have I enumerable, I have, I say, covariance of employee the same. I have I enumerable of person that I make the value of the previous variable. And you see here that it does not work. So if we compile, it said do not, cannot implicitly convert type this or to this. In earlier days of C sharp .net 2.0, we have something to convert this. It was very difficult. Now it's very easy. Let's see how it's implemented, the I enumerable. So the I enumerable, if you see here, it's specified with an out T. Put the same. So we put in, I say covariance, out T. Then it could convert an I say covariance of employee to I say covariance of person. Why? Because an employee is also a person. So we could say hello to when we could say hello to an employee, we could say hello also to a person. So now it works. So it's hello, covariance, contravariance, employee. Okay. My person dot name it's better. And here it's hello from my hello covariance. So it's put hello my covariance employee name. Okay. The next example with it's the contravariance with an action. With an action, we won't have an action that performs a person. It could perform also to employee. That's very correct. Likewise, we make our code. We save we have an I say contravariance of person, an interface. Let's see. That say something to the person. An implementation here, we say console write line contravariance to end up name of the person. What 
we have here? We have an IC contravariance of person, like I have the action of person, that it's a action of person, and we could make to the employee because the employee is deriving from the person. So we could make the same action, but it doesn't allow us to compile until we see what is there. So when we see here, it's a parameter in that makes the contravariance easier. So we put the parameter here in, we compile, uh, sorry, we put in to the interface, and now you will see that says contravariance to employee name. So, the idea is that when you want to pass as a generic stuff the parameters from one class to a derived class, you have two things. If the class is passed as a parameter inside, you put in. If the class is making you parameter outside, you put out. And this is variance and contravariance as practical. If you want to read more, please read this one and see my blog for more details. The code will be on GitHub.